Super Thursday. Three separate events, the quarterly inflation report, the rates decision and the minutes of that decision, unleashed on markets in one go. From what some see as Governor Mark Carney's unwelcome data dump, this emerged. At its meeting yesterday, the MPC voted uh, by a majority of 8 to 1 to maintain bank rate at 0.5%, and it reaffirmed its expectation that when bank rate rises occur, they can be expected to be limited and gradual. So not two or more policymakers in favour of a rate hike as many in the markets had been expecting. For Carney, though, the shock is inflation, the governor describing its downward trend this year as the most striking development in the UK. That said, inflation in two years' time will be back at the BOE's target rate, according to the latest projection. Output is seen blossoming, the latest forecast upwardly revised. Globally, there are risks. China, one concern for the bank, says Carney, and no doubt Greece. Low fuel prices, low to no inflation and high sterling keeping a lid on import prices whilst hindering exports. Those are other reasons why the bank won't hike for now. What could ultimately swing it the other way is, of course, the Fed. Super Thursday nowhere near as important as U.S. payroll numbers on Friday, according to Mint Partners' Bill Blaine. If we get a much stronger than expected figure on Friday from the U.S. payrolls, that brings forward the U.S. interest rate hike probably to September. In the meantime, QE has been held at its current level. UK rates left at half a percent for a record 77th month.